For this demonstration, let's assume a propeller has two flat-shaped blades attached to the front of an aeroplane. As the aeroplane moves straight ahead, each blade follows a corkscrew path through the air called a helix. The forward motion is combined with the rotational motion and the resultant velocity of the propeller moving through the air is obtained. The upgoing blade experiences the relative airflow directly opposite its own flight path. The angle between the relative airflow and the blade is its very own angle of attack. The downgoing blade also experiences a relative airflow directly opposite its own flight path, and this is its angle of attack. Both the up and down going blades each have an angle of attack that is the same in degrees. Both blades produce the same amount of thrust as they rotate. At lower aeroplane speed, and in a high nose attitude for example, the propeller shaft is inclined up and the rotational plane of the propeller is no longer perpendicular to the aeroplane's flight path. The downgoing blade has a greater angle of attack than the upgoing blade. In addition to this, the downgoing blade travels further and therefore faster through the air than the upgoing blade. These two effects combined cause the downgoing blade to produce more thrust than the upgoing blade and cause the aeroplane to yaw to the left. This effect is known as the P-factor, or the asymmetric blade effect.